Good evening. In America, which is currently operating an open border policy, of the two million migrants who have crossed over the southern border so far this year, 78 were found to be on their own terror watch list. Frustrated governors, whose pleas for federal support have gone unanswered, decided to make a statement of their own. Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida hired a private jet and flew almost 50 migrants directly to Martha's Vineyard, playground of the rich and famous, lawn signs bedecked with virtuous slogans about welcoming refugees, to remind those who dwell behind their high walls about the enormous pressure the border states are under. But instead of being welcomed with open arms, however, the migrants were removed by the army and are now housed on a military base, away from the elite class who, having stated that they felt enriched by the brief presence of their new friends, seemed unable to cope with the practical consequences of their own ideology. And so to England, record month after record month of uncontrolled immigration. Although it can be hard to see, as the government has been erecting screens as the migrants come into port, anyone who questions the elite class snug in their large homes with a glass of Prosecco miles away from where these migrants eventually end up trying to build a life is called a racist and a bigot. All diversity is good. We are instructed by our betters. That is, until fractures appear as groups of culturally self-isolating communities from different cultures and religions replay their conflicts of old in our towns and cities. Mobs have turned parts of Britain into places where families are scared to leave their houses, where religious laws unrecognisable to the Britain we so recently knew are imposed through threats of violence and death on those who happen to show the wrong cartoon in the wrong class. Rape gangs continue to run rife as the full extent of the police's failure to address this problem, again through fear of being called a racist, becomes clear. Now, look, immigration is a wonderful thing and, and it enriches society as we learn about new cultures and we appropriate the best parts of them. But it has to be controlled and we must be able to live side by side under a shared set of values. New Brits need to be given time to assimilate with the native population and to promote harmony. We were told after Brexit that we would have control of our own borders. Tonight, we're going to look at why we don't, what we can do about it. And in regards to Leicester and other areas, how this situation might escalate or ease.